Well, hello and welcome. I'm Amanda and I'm taking part in the embellished video hop. And what I'm going to do is show you some of the ways in which I use embellishments. And at the end of the video, I will take you through how to make one of the embellishments. So um, I'm a mixed media artist and I love using embellishments in many different ways. And so I've got embellishments for fabric, for art journals. So what we're gonna do is look at some art journals and I'll show you in the different ways in which I've used embellishments and identifying some of the ways that you can too. So I hope you stick around to the end and I'll show you a neat way to make your own embellishment. So let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to look through some of um, some journals and I'll show you ways in which I've made um, embellishments and I'll show you some of the um, things that I've made it from. Okay, so I think we'll probably do that first. Right, so I've made um, embellishments from cardboard. We've got moulds that you can make. You can recycle... Um, Things like the cutouts and these are from a lid. Um, I can create that and use as an embellishment and I'll show you how I would use this and, and like paper. We've got um, some paper cutouts. Um, you know, if you emboss your own, you know, shapes or shapes that you can buy. Um, I've used Fimo clay, air dried clay and resin. So let's have a look at some of the ones that I've made and I'll show you how I've incorporated them on my journal. So let's look in this one first. So in here we've got um, a series of, um, this is Fimo clay. So what you can do with the Fimo clay is roll it out and in, um, press a stamp on it. I'll come in a bit closer for you. So you apply a stamp to the surface and then you can colour it any way you want. These are just plain. This one I've painted. This is actually air dried clay and I've pressed a stamp in there and these ones I've just painted with metallic paint. So these are nice. You can put a hole in it, you can stitch it, you know, put several holes and stitch it to say a fabric journal and um, or stick it to a journal. I then made a load of um, Fimo clay, flattened them out and then stamped them and these are just waiting for me to use them. The other thing I did was I made some paper clay and I put them in a um, silicone mould and then these were just kind of, this was like supposed to be a chocolate mold mini cake I've still got to paint them and then these are embellishments that I can then use in my journal I've also made some again made from paper clay and then I will paint these ones up you've also got shapes where I've made you know like butterflies and things like that and flowers and I can stick these on and they're really fun to use. So there's a load of ways in which you can use them. I've got some uh, friendly plastic here where I've made some mini tags as well and I've painted them. I painted them before and then shrunk them, sorry shrink plastic Here's some more I've made out of just like paper clay and I've put it in a mould or just um, rounded them off and I'm going to paint them. This one I've actually stuck a hole through it so I can make, it's like a bead that I can then attach. So they're fun to make and then these are ones that I've squared off and put some holes in to be painted. You can also stamp the air dried clay as well and then it will dry and then you can paint them so these two these three are all of the air dried clay and then we've got these ones as well right so here are some more that I made out of the friendly uh, shrink plastic 
and as I say I've made loads of little tags that then I can either stitch to a project I can put a jewelry finding in there and attach to um, uh, art journal page got a few that are stuck together here but you can stamp them and you know again it's a nice way to make your own embellishments we've got some Fimo stuck to this one so I'll leave that one deal with that afterwards and then you can do like resin fields so I've used cardboard created a cardboard frame so very similar to this out of a little box and then covered it with paper you could paint it and then I filled them with resin so some nice embellishments here I was experimenting so you have to experiment and see what you can create put some ribbon around it I've got a little jewelry find in here but this is made out of cardboard there and that one I've used some beads in here and in this one I've used some sequins and sequin words and then this one was just I did this in a tea light put the resin in I used um, this is uh, pencil shavings and um, I just wanted was curious to see how it would come out and I can attach a jewelry find in here or attach it some way in into a project so that's a nice one okay so here we have again some paper clay and I've made some mini rocks out of them and then um, etched some words in there made some um, shapes butterflies ladybirds snails leaves little birdhouse and these are made from um, molds and then I've added them in so they're really fun to work with we've got some paper beads so you can use paper this is rolled up paper and I've made a series of paper beads as well a lot you will see in the the art journals that I'm going to show you and then we've got some these are made from molds as well these are this is clay this is Fimo this is clay We've got um, some resin here. This is made from resin. And I've added some gold leaf in there. And they can be stuck to projects. And more recently, I made some ones from what's called known as friendly plastic. So you heat set these, you heat them and you can get some really nice effects with those that's friendly plastic as well and here we have cardboard so again as I say I use a lot of cardboard to make tags we've got some cardboard buttons here that I'm going to be use, using on a project And these ones I've glitter glitterized the edges and I'm going to use them I can add some more paint and details um, some gold or silver as I um, work on a particular project so let's see some of the ways in which I've used it in my journals. so let's look at some of the journals so I've got three here um, I've got some more that will show you over time so this one you can see has been embellished by uh, buttons stitching that's another thing that you can do you can stitch a journal this is cardboard that it's been stitched on and inside of the journal we've got some more buttons here and some uh, paper ephemera that's used as like you know to embellish the surface so I've got some words letters that had been um, created from my um, cricket and I've cut out a butterfly attached it to a CD disc painted them papered them and um, I've used it in that way 
on this one, the whole front is covered in buttons. It's my fabric journal. So um, I've also used things like um, laces. We've got wooden a wooden bird here. Some more buttons, more ornate buttons. And then on the inside, we've got things like, again, ribbon, canvas, leather. Got some leather here that has been punched and um, stitched here and lace. So um, you can use these things not only on fabric journals, you can use them on your general journal and other journals. Here we've got musical instruments. Oh, <laughs> that's brittle. <laughs> but this was a trumpet. We've got beading here. These are paper beads here. So you can make your own paper beads and use them on the journal. It shows you how long I've had this. So I stitched this on. I had uh, several packets of them, so I can add another one if I want. They were uh, tree decorations to hang, so I've used them in my journal. And then on the back here, we've used buttons to embellish. We've got some smaller journals here, where these are cardboard um, made from paper, and I've used a ribbon I've made my own beads here and one of the other things you can do is look at the other th other things that you may have around you like this is mini a mini key we've got some brads here so I um, as I say as a mixed media artist I do collect a lot of different things and so I'm always looking to see how I can use the things I have um, and cross pollinate them in a way but you know use them in other ways in my journal and you can make some small things some small little tabs and areas where you know you combine um, the ribbons say or the fabric with the cardboard and make little tags and on this one we've used cardboard we've used paper clay we've used leather metal these little metal embellishments were made from a tea light and then we've got some brads here as well this was this was a larger butterfly but the metal became brittle and this was the only part that remained and so I thought let me use this on here some paper clay figures that I made and then in this corner what I've done is I've used fabric scraps, brought them together and then put a little centerpiece, It's this is leather and I've just marked, wood, uh, marked the leather with a wood burning tool. Um, on the inside I've used things like fabric hearts and brads for this particular one you can make mini envelopes. I've got an envelope maker, it's just a small one and then you fold them out but I thought this was cute. Stickers, if you've got stickers they can be used as well. Okay, let's look at this one. We've seen this one. This one is a nice journal, I like this one. I've made it with um, it's made from, you know, just a selection of paper and cards. And I've decorated it and embellished it with, this is jeans material that I plaited and then put it on the front. And then we've got some uh, ribbon and some kind of velvet ribbon. And then this is an embellishment that I made. It was a metal, um, I don't even know what, I, it, what it was for, but it was a metal uh, rod. I attached a bead to it, wrapped it with burlap, put another bead at the end, and we've got a nice enclosure there. And I've done the same on the back, 
but with this one I put the bead a bit higher and wrapped some wire around it. So this is one that I've used cardboard. Um, this is a wooden, a wooden butterfly that I've glittered, added glue to it. But these are cardboard. I just made some little kind of like, I don't know what you'd call them. <laughs> So this is cardboard and what I've done around the edge is added some hot glue and so it looks like a little nameplate kind of thing and I've done the same at the bottom here and they're very easy to do so I'll show you that I'll show you how I did this I'll show you the other way that I make my embellishments so and then we've got things like paper birds that have been um, cut out. This was for a wall decal and they, they came in a sheet with birds, flowers and so I just cut them up and then used them in my journal. You see butterflies and then these are stars and things that you can get um, very cheaply, so it came in a paper pack with a whole range of stars. Um, I wanted to show you this, so this was the paper clay that I was telling you and the Fimo clay where I've created these flowers and this I've stamped and then stuck on with a glue gun and painted it. So that's that one. And then we've got things like just the um, paper ones that you can make. So these are paper embellishments that I've made. And I'll show you my folder in a minute. And this one, this is a nice embellishment. It was a um, like a bookmark that I've made for here. So we're going to not make a bookmark, but I'm going to show you how you can um, create an embellishment similar to this in your journal. And here's my folder that I keep a lot of the, the paper things that I make. So we've got some of the ones that I've just made out of watercolour paper and they come in all different shapes and sizes. I do need another container to put them in, but you can make a whole range of them, but this is the one that I wanted to show you. So these are the ones that I wanted to show you, how very easy it is to make your own embellishments. Um, and this is very similar to this. I've just taken like one of these cutouts, I've stuck it down on paper and then I've covered it with tissue and that's what we're going to do and you can make a series of different embellishments using like little cutouts that you may have or that you've created and you can make you know things that can go directly on your journal or you can make them in your journal and here we've got ones where I've used little birds that I've had I'll come in a bit for you It's so pretty. So here are some little birds. I've stuck them onto paper, painted it, and embellished it with gold rub on, because that's another thing that you can use. You can, any raised edge, you know, if you've created a raised edge with a stamp, um, a stencil, and say modeling paste or gesso, you can then go over the top with a gold rub on. got a little set here that I use from time to time but these look really cute okay so what we're going to do now is make a couple of these okay 
we're going to make one in our journal. So I've started here and I'm using stars. I want to add some stars to this page. The page um, has already got some uh, color on it and all this is, it's just a rough page where I've had excess paint and I've rubbed it onto the page. So we're gonna add some more stars, allow it to dry and then we're going to paint the, just this bottom area. And then the other thing we'll probably do on the same page is to create little tabs at the top. Okay, so let's get started. So as I say, you can take cardboard even and cut out some different shapes and then and make um, embellishments for your journal. I'm just cutting up this and I think I'll go for a kind of makeshift circle. Like so. And then I'm going to make a smaller one. My neighbor's having everything done today. Um, okay. So a circle within a circle, okay? So I've got my glue done and I'm going to just attach one to the other. And then I'm going to glue it to the page. So you can have pages where you experiment and play and practice. And then what I'm going to do is go around this edge with the glue gun itself. Actually, let me make sure these bits of paper get stuck down. And be very careful. So I'm going to go as carefully as I can and make sure it's raised. I want it to go hard in that shape and I'm going to go around the middle as well. Okay, so that's on cardboard. So we'll let that dry and we'll get on with some other things. Next to it, I'm going to do maybe a similar shape, but it won't be on cardboard. It will be directly on to the journal. So I'm just gonna do a circle, just so that you can see the difference of how you can use your glue gun to embellish as well. Embellish your journals or make your own little cards. Okay, so that's that too. So we've got one on card, one with cardboard and one not on cardboard. Just gonna turn my glue gun off so I don't get burnt. I've been burnt many times. Okay, so while we wait for those to harden, the other thing you're going to need is tissue. So I often use, you can use tissue paper, but I often use, you know, the tissue you can buy, it's three ply, and then I just separate them. So I separate it out into just the one layer. You just need a one layer that we're gonna put on top of this. And what that does is prevent it, oh, I've got some here, actually. What that does is prevent it from coming up. Um, and I'm just thinking, in this journal, like with this, it's gonna be quite raised, so when you close it, it's going to be like, you know, bulging. So I would maybe leave an embellishment like this for the front or the back. Okay, but no worries. So, the next thing we're going to do is use some of the shapes. So, I've got two different types of stars. I've already done a set of stars here. And all I've done is I've, I've got a set of three stars all together. And I'm just going to separate them. Now, they're um, a thin cardboard. So I find that 
before I stick them down what I'll do is just spray mist, mist them with some water and that helps the glue to absorb and for it to stick down it doesn't need to be like you know totally wet but if you're sticking down cardboard if you just spritz the back lightly it makes it easier to stick and then I've got some just some additional stars here so I don't need that many we're just literally going to let's just do some of the smaller ones here so we've got a bigger one and a smaller one okay we'll use this one add it so I've just got my glue here I'm just going to add it to the back of the to the page like so I'm going to use a card to begin with just to make sure the whole of this area is nicely layered Okay, so now they're added, I'm just going to go over the top with a bit of glue because now we're going to cover them with the tissue. Now you have to be careful because the tissue is very thin, it's just one apply and you don't want to tear it. Okay, so now the page has dried, what we're going to do is paint it. So I'm going to paint it in a semi-dark colour. Um, as I said, the, um, the background at the moment was just this colour because I was using um, up my paint on the page. So I'm just going to add different darker colours, blue and uh, purple. and then cover them up.
Okay, so I've just done a bit of doodling. So that's embellishment as well. You know, you can add um, your doodling, line making, mark making, and put it on the page. So I covered the page in the blue and the purple paint, and we've got the raised areas here. So I'm just going to go in with a bronze and a gold, and we're just going to highlight these. So mine's nearly done, but um, but yeah. So you highlight them. And then you've got some nice elements that, you know, you've created yourself and really add something to your page. I'll just come in for you a bit. Just come in a bit more. Okay, so you can see some of this bronze there and you only have to go lightly if you don't have a um, any of these rub-ons you can dry brush and use sort of like you know some metallic paint that you might have gold or silver but you, you know you get a nice texture and you can create a nice kind of feel your page and even if you don't have like elements that you can stick on I mean you can cut them out yourself you know you can cut them out of cardboard as I've shown you you can use the glue gun the hot glue gun and do it so these elements are not going to come up and I can continue embellishing the page with the um, white jelly roll and just add a few more bits if I want or I can change it and do some you know like a different color but yeah here's a page that now has some really nice um, embellishments on there and they're ones I've made myself and you can see the um, the glue gun here on the cardboard and this is the one just directly on the page and yeah so when we shut it it's just a bit raised but yeah you can make some nice shapes you can create some images and then add the glue gun but I really do like um, creating my own embellishments it just adds that much more to your page um, and don't forget that you can add embellishment you can embellish the page with pens and markers and things like that so I hope that that has been useful and I'd love to see how you look at your embellishments, what kind of embellishments do you make or do you buy them um, and how you use them on their page and do check out all of the other videos in the video hop and see how other artists and creatives are using embellishments in their work. Take care for now.